here in this town they like to play the blues and we appreciate that we like to network with them and that's what we're here for if you're not sure what networking is all about it's mixing with people that are of the like mind we're all in the entertainment business to some extent or another so it's a chance for you to meet people that are in the business but may not be in the same line in this area that you are. For example, there might be some people that are in the recording end of it and you're in the band end of it. That's the people that you want to get with. For those of you who are not accustomed to networking, it's simple and easy. You don't need to spend your time just hanging out with the people that you know. Make the effort to introduce yourself to all the people in the room tonight. Tell them who you are and what you do. You never know who you're going to meet in the end. Now, I want to introduce to you by name, because they're not here, Alan Smith and Mike Ferry of Fan Sports Grill. Alan and Mike uh, have uh, let us come in tonight and party. I'm going to call Pat up to the stage. Where's Pat? Pat's the general manager here tonight. Pat, where are you? Don't be bashful. Come on up here. Anyway, we've got a plaque for them. We're giving to all the places that have... CEN networking parties, we're going to give a plaque, okay? So I want to take this home and this back into the big thing that it's not. All right, now, we got a couple of things we're going to start doing at, uh, at our meeting. If you have questions about CEN, CEN, please feel free to ask a board member. I'm going to ask our board members to raise their hands so people can see you and see where you are if they have any questions about what's going on, all right? We're all here to help network. So we want to unite, ignite, and keep this party moving forward because we're starting to make a lot of noise. We've only been doing this about three months now, so people are starting to take notice of what we're doing here in Charlotte. Folks up in Raleigh are making contact with us, and we want to keep it going, and you're the ones that are going to help us keep it going by bringing more members or people to this party to become members, all right? Those of you that are new tonight, make sure you fill out your free membership application at the entrance. Got your photo taken for your photo ID. Please, really. I don't know where they got this photo with me, but I need a new one taken, okay? Seriously. Hey, Rick. Yes. Pat. Hey, Pat, you made it. All right, you can have your black buddy. Give it up for Pat, everybody. Come on. Big round of applause for the people here at Say anything to the folks? No. No, he's, not he's a manager, he's not a talker. All right, buddy. Those of you who attended the August mixture, make sure you step up front, pick up your membership card and package if they didn't grab you coming in. Those of you who joined online prior to the night can pick up your membership uh, cards up front also. Now, we plan to have an industry related topic. At each, of our mem at each of our mixers starting tonight. Just a short chat. We're not going to preach to you or anything like that, but it's informative topics that can help you in your business path, regardless of what it is in the entertainment business. All right? Tonight's topics are how to set up your band as a business and why you should. That topic is going to be handled by Brian and Robert. And then Tina Gibson is going to come up here and talk to us just a minute about the growing request for bands to carry general liability insurance. Okay, some very important topics at this time. All right, I'm looking for Bryant and Robert. Where are they? I see that for you guys. Come on up here. Talk to these folks. Put your hands together for them. All right, so they asked us to speak just for a few minutes tonight about the, the business side of the, uh, the bands. Uh, I'm assuming a lot of you, if you've been in the industry for more than a couple of weeks, you probably know more of the pitfalls and the bad things that can happen to bands than probably even uh, we do. Um, there's, there's several reasons to incorporate or to set up an official business for your band. Typically, they deal with liability issues and the ever-popular tax write-offs. So those are really the couple of reasons why you're going to want to set up some type of a, uh, an official business for your band. When you do that, though, however, it does increase paperwork, it does increase cost. So each of you are going to probably have a, your own unique situation in terms of how you're trying to structure your band and what is you're trying to accomplish. So to try to spend much time up here tonight trying to hit all those different aspects would be difficult. Um, 
Ryan and I are going to be here throughout the evening. We're happy to give you our information, and we're happy to spend time talking with any of you about your specific circumstances, um, what you have going on, and we're happy to try to advise you any way we can, share with you some of our expertise and knowledge to help any of you out. Um, that's why we're involved. We don't play music, we don't play instruments. But if we can be, if we can be a resource to you to help any of you out, we're happy to do that. Okay? So lawyers at no cost. So take advantage of that. Spend a few minutes with those guys, very important. Now another subject that's important to us, general liability insurance. Tina Gibson is going to talk to us a little bit about that. Tina? starting to require bands to have their own general liability insurance, especially in the festival side of things. Um, bands that are looking to work and start breaking into, if not already, in the festival industry, and when you start dealing with uh, municipalities, they start requiring things like general liability insurance, usually a million to two million dollar uh, policy. It's an intimidating thing for a lot of musicians because they don't know that it's really not that expensive for a year's policy. Even a million dollar policy, sometimes you can get for around three, three to five hundred dollars for a year's coverage. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll have Terry's contact information and he told me anybody that <coughs> wanted to talk to him, just come give me your name and number and I'll have him reach out to you, send you an email. He'll be happy to answer any questions that you guys have. But it is something that everybody should start thinking about and looking at, looking forward to that because it's really for your own protection. So think about it and if you want to know any more, let me know and I'll get you in touch with Terry O'Connor. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Two very important subjects. We're going to let you keep networking. Please make sure you share the information about CEN and what we do here. Share it with your friends, your business partners. I know you, uh, uh, some of you compete with other bands for work, but you don't have to compete when we get together on CNN, so bring them down. We appreciate you coming out tonight. We hope to see you next month at the October meeting. Thank you very much.